So I saw this on Twitter and this made me happy. This made me happy. And I think I, I think it is true. Peru classifies transgender, non-binary, and intersex people as mentally ill. <laughs> Based Peru. These the Peruvian government, man. See, I I I I knew I loved Peru. I loved uh Peruvian food. Peruvian food's good. Now, seeing this. This makes me happy. I feel like uh, the world is healing a little by little. It's not fully healed yet. We haven't won yet. Things aren't being normalized, you know, like how how it, how it used to be. But uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, the Peruvian government has officially classified chan transgender, a non-binary, and intersex people as mentally ill. The controversial decision was made to ensure the country's public health services could. Guarantee full coverage of medical attention for mental health for trans community. The, the Peruvian health ministry, health ministry explained, according to the Telegraph, the decree will supposedly alter the language in the Essentials Health Insurance Plan to reflect that trans and intersex people have a mental disorder. The LGBTQ plus outlet Pink News reported. Here's the thing. I believe it is a mental disorder. It, it, it's 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 like how is it not right imagine people who are legit trans how how would a sane fucking person voluntarily maim themselves on their arms or their leg voluntarily cut off a part a part of their body just to fit in and the thing is that you will not ever look as good as the real thing and i'm talking about like top top of the line top tier like looking men top tier looking women like really attractive freaking alpha women and alpha males and shit like that you will never ever look like them you can try but you won't succeed right now um yeah like imagine you have perfect perfectly functioning penis giant mega you know you're a black guy and you have a fucking arm holding a baby's apple, fucking swinging. You have a fucking third leg. And you're like, you know what? My dick's too big. I'm gonna chop that shit off. What the fuck? Uh, coming from a Chinese person? You're crazy. You're absolutely crazy, right? Look, it is, it is okay. It is okay if you do this as an adult. But the thing is that it's still considered not normal. This is not a normal thing to do. Right, like I said, and let's say if you you're going, you're transitioning from a female to a male, which is crazy too. Which is literally grabbing a piece of your arm, getting fucking skin grafts removed from your arm, turning that into a fake penis that looks like a pig's leg. It looks like a pig's foot. You think that's normal? And that's why when we watched um, what is a woman with Matt Walsh. Right, a documentary, awesome, phenomenal documentary, right? And there was a guy in there who was like 42, 44. And he said, if they got me at 42 or 44, your kids don't stand a fucking chance. And that's absolutely correct. And that's why we need to stop this shit, right? We need to, it's it, like, they should seek help. But the thing is that it's such a taboo thing. It's like people don't want to seek help because they don't want to look weak. They don't want to look, you know, like, like a pussy. Oh, I ain't gonna go, go see a therapist. I ain't gonna go see a freaking, um, you know, a shrink. Like, I don't have mental health issues. So what happens? The internet makes it worse. The, the internet exacerbates your mental health issue by you posting on Facebook saying that I'm trans now and you get 1,000 likes. Your endorphins fucking skyrockets. And then you're like, oh my God, everyone wants me to go trans. All my friends say it's a good thing. I'm going to go do it. And then once you transition, you will still have suicidal thoughts. And I have, I used to have a friend that bitches and moans all fucking day on Facebook trying to feel acknowledged, trying to feel like they belong, saying that, please tell me I'm okay. Please tell me I'm okay. It's like, dude, go seek help, right? No one, none of your friends 
will va they will validate you because you're their friend and they just you know you just want to get brownie points or something like that but no matter how much validation you get from tumblr from twitter tiktok instagram facebook MySpace, freaking LimeWire, Pornhub, it doesn't freaking matter, right? It doesn't matter how much validation you get, you will never you you will never come out of the situation on top thinking that you are a normal person. And it's sad. I have two friends that used to be used to be my friends that are trans. Right? One of them that I met, perfectly fine dude. I call I, I call her a dude is because I knew him as a dude. Right? He's complaining all the time. Oh, now I can finally go to the beach and take off my clothes without feeling, uh, you know, um, you know, freaking self-conscious because of my fucking my my scars on my chest, right? And then um, and and another person saying that how they they don't feel like they're in their body, right? Putting a long, you know, growing my hair out, putting on makeup, uh, wearing nail polish, wearing high heels. He has a son and a wife going through all of these things and still complaining the last thing to do to to make yourself feel like you belong is cutting off your dick and i'm and i'm not sure if he's actually done that so it sucks it definitely definitely sucks and i and that's the reason why they need to seek help right because i don't want to get to a point in my time, because I'm no, I'm no longer friends with these two people. My wife, there's, uh, my wife is still friends with them. Now, I don't want to get to a point where she tells me that, hey, so and so and another so and so who is trans, they both, you know, unalive themselves. I don't want to hear that. It sucks, right? I, ha I, I don't feel any ill will towards them. They unfriend me. I didn't even know that I got unfriended by them, right? But the reason why they unfriended me is because I voted for Trump. That, that, that's the reason. All right, let's continue. Uh, see, uh, despite the change, the trans and other LGBTQ people will not be forced to undergo conversion therapies. The health ministry insisted that the statements issued on Friday. See, here's the thing. I, I don't think that they should be forced. They should definitely seek it out and it should be free. I think that that's how it should be, right? Because if you imagine if you caught it, you're like, uh, being uh, being trans, non-binary, or whatever, it's a, it's a mental issue. And then, in order for you to seek mental help, it costs money. That shit's fucked up. That I think it should be free. All right. So uh, LGBTQ activist groups across Peru, however, slammed the decision as major step backwards in the fight for their rights and safety. A uh, hundred years after the decriminalization of homosexuality. The Minsa Peru has nothing better to do than include trans people in the category of mental illness. Uh, it is. It is. It just is. And the thing is, it's... When, whenever, whenever you're a trans, you want to fit in. Whenever you're a trans person, you don't want people... You don't want people... In, knowing that you're trans because you you are trying to fit in you're not trying to be a non-binary day them where you look at fucking androgynous right you want to fit in you want to you want people to think that you are permanently cosplaying as the other gender right so if you if you want people to think that you know good for you and stuff like that but ultimately like i said no sane people would Purposely cut off their dicks and make a bonus hole. I, I, I'm calling it like I see it, right? And when it comes down to being a libertarian, you know, I want to be left alone. Like I said, stuff like this is moving me towards the right a lot more, right? I'm already conservative, but this is moving me towards like really like this is moving me inch and inch away from the center.